chase him down. All right, we had a, a cat on the loose. Come cat on, on the in. Run. Here we go. Here's there our kitty go. cat. Okay, our, who is this? Our star. This yes. is Black Friday. His name Black, is Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> okay, and thanks to our wonderful volunteers who bring these animals in every Wednesday for us so that we can feature them. And Black Friday needs a home. Oh, look at him. He's very good. <laughs> look at that. He's soaking it up. He's like, what? I was just on the loose for just a second. I mean, come on. He's so, burning. Yeah, he, you yeah. little rascal. Um, we do have Michelle on the phone Hi, with Michelle. a question for us. Go ahead, Michelle. We have two cats and a dog, and lately they've liked to take to go to bed with us, and I'm just wondering what we can do to get them out of our bed. Close, <laughs> close the door to the bedroom. It's, well, um, they love pets love sleeping on the beds with humans. It's comfortable and it's warm and. Um, so you'll have to, if you don't want them sleeping with you, you'll have to close the door to the bedroom. And then when they scratch at the door and meow and bark or whine, you'll mm -hmm. have to ignore that yeah. until it goes away. So. I know, and it's funny. It's it's tough. It's got to be tough because you're yeah. emotionally attached oh, yeah. to them anyway, and then well, they are to you. So my, my pets sleep on my bed, so it's mine do too. Yep. Yeah, and it's funny. Our bed keeps getting bigger, and yep. the, and the dog still sleeps on me no matter how big our bed is. So <laughs> it's funny how that works. Um, we do have Mark on the phone with us right now. Go ahead, Mark. Hi, I have a black cocker spaniel, and I'll walk her, and one day she won't bark at anyone, and the next day she's just like. It's totally aggressive, and I was wondering why. I have no idea. That I don't. That's behavior like that is yeah, just. I, I by the, well, I guess we have bad days too. So yeah, yeah or you <laughs> could try to figure out what it is that she's barking at. There could be something that that uh, you know maybe it's males that she barks at and females she doesn't. I I mm -hmm. don't know. I know in our neighborhood yeah. there's one, I mean, my dog is literally conditioned where even if the, the other dog is not outside, he gets like, he starts pulling on the leash and gets aggressive right when we walk by that house specifically. So right. he's conditioned to have that reaction. Right. So maybe it's something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, a lot of dogs bark at the mailman or the doorbell. But at our hospital, we have a, a doorbell when we're having staff meeting. And we know which dogs are trained to bark at the doorbell because somebody will come in our front door and there'll be a bell and, I'll, and the dogs start barking. And they go nuts, so they, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. Um, one thing we did want to quick mention, um, there have been some cases of dog flu yeah. out there. Yeah, canine influenza. Uh, there's two strains. There's a North American strain and an Asian strain. Okay. Well, these cases in Chicago that have recently been reported uh, are the Asian strain, and that's the first time that they've been reported in the USA. There is no vaccine for that. You can treat symptoms, um, though? or it, It's treated symptomatically. One of 20 dogs, or I'm sorry, one out of five dogs that get ex exposed um, will get the disease, but only one out of 10 will die. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's not a high fatality rate, though it is fairly contagious. It definitely there, something to be aware of. There is no vaccine for it. There was one case reported in Sioux City here a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, my advice would be to stay out of Chicago with your dog, or if you are in Chicago and you have a dog, um, make sure that you've got a proper health certificate before you come to Iowa. Mm -hmm. It is a state law in Iowa that before you bring a dog in, you're supposed yeah. to have a valid health certificate signed okay. by a veterinarian. And the same is true for dogs that go from Iowa to Chicago. Make sure you're accompanied by a valid health certificate. That, okay. that is the law. Well, Dr. Graff, thanks for joining us. And then this little guy again, available at Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. Thanks for coming in today. And uh, we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.